Hello everybody, my name is Cybex, and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to create a Pixelmon server for 1.12.2. So, the first thing we're going to do is just hit new, or right click, hit new, and hit folder, and name it Pixelmon server. And then once you do that, you just want to go to CurseForge, go to Browse Mod Packs, and go to the Pixelmon Mod Pack and click into it hit the three dots and hit download server pack. This will open up a web browser and it'll have you download server pack 842 or whatever version they release at your time. So you're just going to go to server pack and open up this folder and take the contents of this folder and drag and drop it into your own Pixelmon server. And you can exit out of that. And then you just want to Make sure you hit install that bat. This will install all the required jars and forge and libraries that you need in order to run the server. And then from there, you can go ahead and right click this server start.bat, hit show more properties and hit edit. And if it says Windows protect your PC, don't worry about that. You can hit run anyway. And then we want to change this to be the file path for Java 1.8. So you'll have to go to your folder or your file explorer and go to this PC, local disk, program files, Java, find JRE 1.8 and if you don't have it you can download it by typing in download Java 1.8 but if you just do download Java 8 and right here where it says Java SE 8 download archive you can scroll down to where it says Java SE development kit and download it for your version. So in my case it would be the Windows 64 installer. And your version might be a little bit different than mine. I believe I'm on oh I am on this one. So I'm on 333. So if you download this you can follow these instructions and you'll just click into this and then into bin and copy this file path. So just click in here and control A control C and then instead of having Java here we're gonna put quotation marks paste in the file path add another backslash or forward slash and put java.exe at the end and end the quote so what this is saying is it wants to call this specific Java version it is a server and it sets the settings for minimum RAM maximum RAM and the Java parameters and then the jar is the server jar it sets in the setting so we're gonna hit file save exit and we can exit out of this as well and inside of our pixel one server we're going to right click settings.bat show more options edit and once again we can run anyway and we want to set the min and max ram so i'm going to set it to the minimum to be 3000 m or 3 gigs and the maximum to be 6000 M or 6 gigs. So just by changing these two parameters I gave it a little bit more RAM. Make sure you check your system. I have 32 gigs in my system so at the most it's going to be using 6 of that 32 and file save. Now very simply we can just hit server start.bat and you'll see that it loads up your pixel on mod server and it's going to make you agree to the EULA so you can just hit any key and find where it says EULA.txt and change this from false to true and hit save and while we're here we might as well take a look at some of the server properties so you can just double click into this server.properties and make sure that your max take time is set to negative one so if it's generating anything or zero I should say so that way if it's generating anything um, it doesn't cause lag and if the lag goes over six, uh, 60,000 uh, milliseconds that it doesn't crash your server Game mode set to zero, uh, difficulty one, and just a couple of basic things. Enable command block is already true. Flight is true. These are all good things. And then just the message of the day, I'm going to say uh, Cybex's uh, Pixelmon server. And then just hit file, save, and run your server once again by hitting the server start.bat. So now it should load up properly and I can just install the Pixelmon mod pack and wait for the install 
And then once it's installed, I can just open it up and run the server and you'll be able to see that the server is currently loading in and at the same time I'm going to load my game up and then when this is done I'll be right back. Okay, so now you can see up here in my command prompt it says done, 10.5 seconds, type help or question mark, that's how you know that your server is successfully loaded. And so now in the pixel bottom, I'm just going to hit multiplayer, add server, and in my case, I'm just going to type in localhost. And then I can scroll all the way down to the bottom, and you'll see it says Cyvex's Pixel 1 server. So I'm just going to click that and join server. And you'll see over here that my user ID, SIN, is successfully connected. And then you'll just be able to play Pixel Moment like normal. So I'm just going to choose my favorite Pokemon, Squirtle, obviously, or Piplup. He's pretty cool. And begin my adventure. And now, I can make sure I'm opt, so if I need to change any settings, I'm opt. And now I can obviously go into creative and take a look around, get Pokeballs, things of that nature. But yeah, that's about it. So that is how you successfully create a Pixel 1 1.12.2 server. If you have any questions, feel free to hit me up on Discord, uh, leave a comment, and make sure if you enjoyed the video, if it helped you out. A like and subscription to the channel is fantastic, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.